but what a game it, it was. How are you feeling at, at the end of that? A bit bittersweet, really. You feel like we should have won. But um, spoke to the players about us representing ourselves better and being it looking like us today, where um, at Portsmouth you, you're up against you know, the best team in the league. And I just felt that represented us uh, from what you guys watch, from what all the fans see. And, uh, and that was really important today. And I felt, um, felt the way we set up structurally, I thought it was good against them. And uh, it worked early on. Yeah, we saw that, didn't we, with um, kind of those <clears throat> split strikers and, and, and Pinnock dropping off and, and their back three didn't know what to do with it. And, and, and like you say, we've seen it so many times under your reign that if you have a poor week, you, you show a reaction in that next game. And from the very start of this one, we could see it was a, di a different cobblers. Yeah, look, uh, you know, that's down to the players and uh, the, the attitude they had today. And, you know, it, it, <laughs> Everything that is down to the players and, um, you know, the tactical awareness to take on board uh, what we what we tried to do, um, the energy, the effort and, uh, you know, overall just um, you would take a point against a Bolton Wanderers all day long. But I felt in him we, uh, you know, it ebbed and flowed and they had some chances as well. It, it could have gone either way, couldn't it? Yeah, they showed their quality as well. Obviously, going down to 10 men and still being in the game, there's... There's not many teams in, in, in the division, but the elite teams in this division, you know, even though you're playing with a man advantage, that it's not going to get much easier. They've, they've got that quality. Absolutely. And you see the, the players they bring on. We talked about it in the week. Aaron Collins comes on. They're brought in for a substantial amount. Cameron Jerome, uh, players like that coming on, uh, you know, can make a, a huge difference for them. So, um, and... Uh, you know, that's why they're fighting to, to win promotion. And they could be a championship club by the end of the season. And, uh, you know, they've got the infrastructure and everything, haven't they? So, uh, but, you know, look, we, we went toe-to-toe -to -toe today. And, um, you know, overall, it, it, you've got to take this as a good point. You always talk about kind of fine margins in, um, in this division and uh, in the past as well. It's, it's half a second hesitation in the box, isn't it? And the box just doesn't, just doesn't quite start quickly enough to get to the ball. And Mendes Gomez gets there and puts it in the back of the net. And, and that could be the difference. Yeah, look, absolutely. The, the fellas on the front foot. And, um, you know, we would normally uh, defend that better in a moment. But, uh, you know, it's all learning and uh, frustrating because it... it, it we concede from it, but <clears throat> you're going to concede throughout the season, and it's how, how you bounce back, how you deal with that. So that's the most important thing. Uh, just a, just a couple of injuries. Um, we saw Lee Burge coming off at half time. Obviously, Lee Mulder coming on to make his debut. Can you tell us about that? Well, at half time, it was all hands to the pump. So it was, uh, you know, just how we we go up against them. So I haven't had time to debrief with any of the medical team at the moment. So I'm not sure on that. One. And Aaron McGowan, it looked like it was that, that groin again. Was it one of those where he's, he's really kind of put himself in the forefront to, to play today and he just, he just couldn't quite get through it? Yeah, I, again, it's another one that I've got to um, let the dust settle and wait to see uh, what happens with him as well. Uh, Dom Gate made his, his debut today, got through a, a lot of work in, in the first hour as well. How, how pleased were you with him? Very good, very good. Uh, it's a really good positive start from Dom. and. Uh, Obviously, we needed him today, and uh, so that was really important. Uh, you had a load of brilliant individuals, and I won't pick, too, pick them all out, but I just wanted to mention Kieran Bowie. Um, obviously, got the goal, but he was just a, in defence, in, in attack, just a nuisance all afternoon, and it was a brilliant performance from him. Yeah, I'm really pleased with Kieran. Like, he, you know, his development and his growth uh, has been excellent, and uh, you can see it. You can see it. It's now... You know, staying consistent and uh, he's adding goals to his game, which is really important. So uh, if he keeps staying humble like he does and uh, keeps working hard, then, um, you know, he'll, uh, he'll just keep improving, which is important for everybody. Um, happy three year anniversary, John. Um, is it a mark of how far the, the club's come in that time that we stand here and you're obviously a, a little bit disappointed that you haven't beaten Bolton Wanderers this afternoon? Ah, look, put it in perspective, they had 10 men for a, a fair bit of the game, so we're not going to get too high about that um, you know uh, three years it just feels like it's it's gone in a blink of an eye to be honest um, standing here three years ago it was against Burton there was no crowds here um, the big difference is the stadium's full it's vibrant 
uh, people are enjoying uh, this team uh, and uh, they're giving everything they've got and that's we wanted to build that connection from the off and um, you know at that time we were we were set with the task to try and stay in League One well three years later we've turned it round we're in League One and we've still got to do a lot to try and uh, maintain our status and, and, and move forward. So we, we want to try and keep progressing. Uh, and and that's most important for the, the football club, really. Just finally, um, you've got a busy couple of weeks coming up. You've got a trip, obviously, to, to Orient on Tuesday. And Orient, who are a lot this afternoon, but they've been in fine form recently. So, so that won't be easy for you. No, I know they lost today, but yeah, they've been the uh, outstanding team in the division, I think. Richie just got manager of the month and um, you know because of their performances and because of the way they played uh, you know they they've hit a purple patch they got a lot of their players back they've had some injuries and uh, but it just shows throughout the uh, you know um, that uh, what a difference it can make when you you have a lot out and they had a lot out and they've got unfortunately at the moment all their players back so uh, and that's why they've, they've turned their form around I, I feel um, so look, it'll be um, another tough, tough test and we're going to dust ourselves down and be ready for uh, Tuesday night. Thanks, John.